Hey guys, sorry it's been such a long time. Things have just been really crazy with the internship, but today I thought I'd try something a little different. A new song that I've been working on. It's still in progress, so don't laugh, but um, here we go. if I had wine or chocolate. That looks yummy. I don't know, right? Bloody. With a touch of glue. Have you had oatmeal for lunch every day these last two weeks? Maybe. Okay. So, first of all, oatmeal is a breakfast meal, not a lunch food. Oh, who says I don't eat it for breakfast? And secondly, you've got to diversify your experiences. I mean, do you even get out? I'm a Trader Joe's regular. Come on, Amy. Your Metro card is going to waste. This is New York, the greatest city on Earth, and you might as well still be in Kansas for all you're making of the experience. You know what? I'm busy. I'm writing music. About oatmeal and paper cuts. It's not exactly scintillating material, Amy. I'm staging an intervention. What? Come on. Time for some inspiration. I'm so glad to be out of that office, finally. You see, Amy, this is what you're missing. It is beautiful. You know what would make it better? Ice cream. Chair Garcia, please. So why'd you move to New York, anyway? That's even a question? Doesn't everyone move for essentially the same reason to make it in the world. Well, you're gonna have to define making it better than that. I mean, are you gonna make it as a stamp licker, a porridge chef, or are you going to audition as best you can for three years and then move back to the Kansas suburbs and become a dentist? <sighs> songwriter. I'm a singer-songwriter. Oh, name and lights, huh? Too bad, I'm sure you would have made a great dentist. 
It's not about money or fame or any of that glamorous stuff. You know, I've seen enough movies, read enough autobiographies, you know, those things alone don't bring you happiness. It's more about feeling like I've actually accomplished something with my life and feeling like the music that I'm writing is being heard. You know, for all you've been trying to do to get Ruth to hear your music, you're doing a pretty piss poor job of advertising to the rest of us. I've... Me, for instance, I haven't heard any of your music. I mean, I've been focusing mm, I'm sure, I'm sure. Aren't we seeing something now? I'm eating ice cream. My throat is full of music. You are never going to make it in this city. Fine. <clears throat> Brown brick and gray Flushed sky and breezy window Loud calls soiree Laughter just not You know what we should do? That's very pretty, but you know what we need to do? What? They're showing La Boheme at the Met tonight, and we have to be there. Um. Uh, um, <laughs> yeah, remember what we talked about. Diversifying your experiences. Uh, the Met will be good. It'll be good for you. It's great music. I mean, it, that sounds like it, like a cot, like a, it's maybe a little high class. It's music of the people art and romance and beauty and I'm sure they still have tickets left. Yeah? One hundred dollars? No, no. There's a great pair right there. Eighty dollars. Let me think about it. Think of the music, the lush score ascending, the lyrics, sopranos, the shivers they're sending, inspiring. Think of the music, the sweet orchestrations consuming your heart, overwhelming sensations, inspiring. Come with me, set aside all your white kids. Just not today. Okay. Eighty dollar tickets and a night to remember. La Buim, here we come. <laughs>